What up, my dudes and dudettes? This is Byron, the multiple interest man here, and I am back for my vacay. Now, yes, I know it's been a while since my last episode and since I went on that vacation that I was talking about, despite the changes that we had to make behind it, but other than that, I am back to make videos. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen me making more views and such, and here I am. So yeah, uh, and I'm pretty sure that most of you were wondering where I was and such. Well, uh, do you guys want to know where I went? Well, I actually went to Michigan. It was basically one of our plans that we had regarding what we would do because honestly, not to mention, but uh, my mom really loves going on vacations, like a lot. And I mean, yeah, because I personally don't blame her about that because going on vacations is like a stress relief mostly. Well, not entirely because, well, with a family I do with a lot of stress and anxiety, not for myself, but basically from the family in general, which honestly, it does not always make things the best, but I don't know. But like what people say, family comes first. In fact, family does come first as always, especially when you have like things going on. It's like, you know, family always comes first, especially how life would always get in the way. That's just part of that. Cause you know, I got a life. Other than that vacay I went on, I would like to show you a few things that I have technically bought, but my mom actually bought me a few things actually. So without further ado, I would like to show you guys what I got. So first things first, uh, we actually went to one of the retailer stores. I think it was most likely on the Mackinac Island that we went to and we bought a couple of stickers. We bought one with the Bigfoot, which is really cool. And we bought the other one with the lady in it. It's very cute, isn't it? And also, while we were in the Mackinac Island, there was something that we actually bought that looked really cool, and it was something that I always wanted in my life. And what I got is something that really helps me a lot, especially when it comes to having, you know, when it comes to having better dreams, but yeah. So what I got is a dream catcher, which basically, it's actually designed by the Native Americans to catch your nightmares. And so far, I've been using it like every single night and it actually works. So I've been having like less nightmares even when I'm stressed out about things, but this actually works. And I really hope that it works over time. So it's basically nice. Uh, my dad also bought one himself and I also bought my mom something like this, but in a different color. But like I actually bought my mom this for like a Mother's Day gift while I was in Arizona with my dad, which honestly, it's a really cool thing to have. Also, I would like to talk about our vacation regarding Michigan. It was actually beautiful at the northern part of Michigan. Uh, we actually stayed at one of the cabins in Harbor Springs. We actually went to several places like the Mackinac Island, which apparently on the island, there are no vehicles allowed on the island. So we have to take like either bikes or carriages or horses on there, which is really cool. And I got to experience, you know, the pre-vehicle type of renaissance there and it was just awesome uh we also went to the grand hotel which they actually had a requirement for the dress code which basically you had to wear like something very casual or fancy and uh apparently we did other than that we also went to the torch lake and we actually kayaked at that lake and we also got to check out the railroad museum which was really cool we also went to like several restaurants and retailers i actually got to try some white fish as well as a lobster sandwich while we were on the Mackinac island I actually did some proper biking while we were biking around the island. We also went to the beach for a little bit. Oh, and not to mention, but uh, we also went to the Mackinac Bridge, which was freaking cool. And on our way back, we actually went to Toledo. And we got to check out this place called the Toledo Art Museum. And I'm not gonna lie, but it was just so damn fancy and awesome. I uh, got to check out a lot of certain types of like, you know, the artwork and the sculptures that are there, especially in like, you know, Egyptian and African and also the Asian times here and there, you know, something like that. Despite the donkey costume that just literally sits there like really still just to be paid for $8 by an Asian guy that actually works at that museum in the donkey costume and just literally stares at you for a long period of time without even moving. But yeah, uh, basically it was a really good time. Oh, and also not to mention, but uh, we actually got to check out the bike riders at one of the theaters down in Michigan. I forgot what the name it was, but we went to this one theater in Michigan. It was so cool because they had like a shit ton of posters based off of Star Wars and the Marvel Cinematic Universe and even Harry Potter. Now, most of you already know that uh, we did not get to go on our Tennessee vacation because of what was going on with one of my family members. And yes, the real reason we did not get to go to Tennessee was because of the fact that my Uncle Fred has been in the hospital for a while and he actually hit his head real hard in the shower at his home and it's 
and it's been really tough for him. I actually got to visit him at one of the local hospitals around me, and he was not doing well, but he's actually doing quite better than he was about a month ago. Honestly, it's been a really tough ride for everybody, and I'm not even sure what type of vacation we're going on, and I'm not even sure where we're going to go next for our vacation, but honestly, we don't even know. I just got back from Michigan, and for some reason, my Uncle Tony actually invited us to go to Florida again just to stay in his house, which is really nice. But honestly, we do not even know if we're gonna go on that Tennessee vacay with my maternal family, like we had planned over time, but at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I don't know, just, you know, shit happens, and you know, life does not go our way, but it's just, you know, just gotta get through it. And at the end of the day, that's basically what I learned, because, you know, uh, we actually had to learn it the hard way. And that one message is that life does not go your way. It, it, it just doesn't. So yeah, uh, basically there's not a lot going on with me. Uh, I might see the Twisters movie tomorrow since I had already seen the first Twister film, which was like about a week ago. And I'm not gonna lie, but the one from 96 that I watched was awesome. And that one is a classic. I thought Universal did a wonderful job with it, which I might do a review on it soon. But basically it's another video for another day regarding your review. I might see Deadpool and Wolverine very soon as well as A Quiet Place Day 1, which I have not seen the film yet, but if it's not in theaters anymore, then I'm probably not gonna see it until it comes out on streaming, most likely on Paramount Plus, but other than that, yeah. Oh, and I hate to mention as well, but uh, unfortunately, I got into another Fender better, uh, but uh, I will not get into any detail about where and what really happened. You know, just, I, I, don't, I don't really wanna talk about it, but yeah, it, it literally happened, but at the end of the day, uh, we just got it taken care of. It was on private property, not on the highway or on the back roads. I was not speeding. It was just a similar experience that I had from last year, but like almost as bad. But at the end of the day, we just took care of it, honestly. But uh, luckily, my dad actually got the scrapes out of my car, which was really nice. And I'm thinking about taking the rest out later on. But yeah, um, other than that, uh, I don't have a lot to say regarding that. But I will say this. I actually went to the Monday Night Raw in Dayton with my friend Nathan, as well as my friend Jordan, and it was freaking awesome, dude. I'm not gonna lie. We, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we got to see a lot of professional wrestlers, like uh, Rhea Ripley, which she was awesome, Jey Uzo, who was also awesome, etc., etc. A lot of people were just so awesome there. I don't, I don't even know what to say, but we honestly had a good time there. But yeah, um, other than that, I don't have a lot to talk about, unfortunately, but uh, I will say this. I do have some videos coming up, like uh, I'm thinking about making this video regarding what, how, and why the Chuck E. Cheese should basically improve the show tapes just for the legacy locations by doing the cover songs, which I'll be explaining more of that in the video when it comes out. I'm also thinking about making more music, as well as more vlogs, as well as making like maybe some like short episodes of the Mickey Mouse show, which I don't even know if uh, they'll happen, but I'm pretty sure it will, because like, you know, I, but the thing is I've been really busy with, this, with everything. Uh, work has also been really stressful from time to time. I also got something coming up this weekend, like my internship, and uh, pretty much that's basically it. And I also have this upcoming Capstone project that I have going on for college, but uh, I haven't gotten like any updates, and I really hope I do. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you. And all then, this is me, Byron, signing off. Peace.